Welcome to Carries Me Over Ministries Incorporated. We were founded on John 3.16, 3.17, and 3.18. God's salvation plan for everyone. Prayer request this tonight is for Mr. Gross, who appears to have a head cold, needs to keep us informed. For the uh, <coughs> Marty Keith family, he was the one that I was talking about that had the motorcycle wreck. And then he died unexpectedly. They, they don't know what happened. So remember that name, Marty Keith family. It's just so many of us needs a prayer. So that's why I say Let's just pray for everybody. Because there's so many people out there who are in need of a prayer. Lord, right now. Right now. Just lower that hand to heal it. Upon each and every one. And of the Lord. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. And of the Lord. Now people don't have a shadow on the devil. Just believe. In that healing hand that he has. Then he'll see us through. He will. But just don't even have a shadow of a doubt. Just believe. Oh, I believe. I believe in his healing. Thank you, Lord. <coughs> now. Before I go into anything tonight, I'd like to say, be with us Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of next week as we go into Easter, Good Friday service, Black Saturday, and Easter service. Now, Easter service will begin at 5.30 a.m. in total darkness. So be with us next weekend. Now, the message tonight, come to the faith. Looking at the book of Isaiah, it does speak of a glorious banquet on this mountain. Bread, choice pieces with marrow, marrow is an herb, and refined aged wine. Now it does not say that this supper is for all the believers, all the saints, it says this supper is for all peoples. So everyone's going to be there at this supper. It also goes to tell us that this supper is hosted by our Lord. People, as we sit down to that supper, He's going to be serving us. Because He is a serving God. All the angels in heaven are going to start singing, and he's going to start serving. Each and every one. A glorious banquet. A supper that will undo all of them. This is going to be the glorious banquet, people. The glorious banquet on Mount Zion. Jubilee on the mountain. That's exactly what it's going to be. your name. A chair has been reserved for you. Be there. At the banquet. Be there. Don't let your church rem don't let your chair remain empty because it's reserved. It's got your name on it. 
be there. And that glorious banquet. Isn't it going to be wonderful when he says, Children, let's celebrate. Come to the table. Come to the table that he has prepared. Let's start getting the preparations ready for it, people. We're going to have to. We can't let this opportunity go by. We've got to start getting ready. Getting ready. There's too many things happening in this world, people. Too many. And that tells me that it's not going to be long. It's not going to be long before his second coming. It's not going to be long. Because how much more can this world take? He's taking a pound. And how much more can it take? This shoe. He's leaving blood stains on the earth. How much more can this earth take? Not much more. It's not going to be able to take much more. His children are not going to be able to take no much more. We worry, people, yes, as part of human being is to worry. We worry about others. Yes, we do. His children's not going to be able to take much more. But if you think it's bad now, it's going to get worse before the end. It's going to get far worse. worse than what we're seeing now, but it's getting there. I can see it right in the air, people. It's getting worse. Gun violence. Killing innocent children. I still <coughs> don't see why. Someone on the suicide bench would take a lot of people with them. And sometimes I think that's what it is. This person on the suicide trip. And they'll take anybody they can run along with them. But we pray and we pray for it to stop. But it's still there. That's how come I've told you before I don't think this is a time of peace. This is not a season of peace. But it's coming. It's coming. But this is not the time for it. There's a season for everything he tells us. A season to be born, a season to die. A season for death. There's a season for everything. This coronavirus that we went through, it was a season for it. A season for that. And it should have made people turn more to God. But it's turned a lot of them against them. See, there's a season for hate and a season for love. That's why I believe we're right now in a season of hate. Because there's just so much happening. We are in a season of hate. So when we pray, we pray, Lord, be with us all. Because people, that's all we can, we can ask for. Is Lord be with us all during these times. It also tells us there's a season for everything, but the Lord is with us through all the seasons. He's here. He's with us. Don't let a moment go that you don't talk to him. Get closer to him. And then we'll see that banquet in the sky. We're going to be sitting around that table and we're going to have it. The supper of suppers. The banquet over yonder. Get your preparations for it, people, because it's coming. I don't know when, but it is coming. It could be in our lifetime. It could be a thousand years from now. It could be before seven o'clock tonight. 
we got to get ready. We can't get ready. I'll see you next week. Amen.